I certainly would be honoured. Hi, I'm Steve from 1233D. Today we are going to do the first in a series of the LDO Voron 2.4 Revision D kit. This episode we will be doing the unboxing, showing you guys at home what is included in this kit. Why we've chosen this kit and the reputation that LDO Motors have built up alongside the Voron team. Stay tuned, we'll dive right in. So for those of you who have always questioned what is the Voron project, what is a Voron? The Voron project began many years ago, but it was basically formulated to allow anybody to buy off-the-shelf parts to create a 3D printer in their own garage, workshop, kitchen table, wherever it may be. The original Voron specs released the bill of materials so that you could go away, you could pick every single component individually to compile all the parts that you need to build this machine. And that is pretty much how it has always been done until some of the more reputable manufacturers have come along and basically pre-compiled the kit for you. To be a true Voron machine, it has to be a kit that you build yourself from either self-source parts or a pre-configured kit like we have here. In all honesty, in this day and age, it makes more sense to buy a pre-configured kit because you will get exactly what you need in the kit and it will probably work out a lot cheaper than you self-sourcing every single part yourself. We have two boxes. So this is a 2.4 350 mil build plate model of the Voron 2.4. This is shipped in two individual boxes. So we know in here is our build plate and our panels for the enclosure for the machine. We will start with box number one. Brown paper documents inside with some nice shiny LDO branding. Just have a look what is inside the envelope. We actually have an LDO serial number along with a full checklist. Everything that is in this checked and ticked off. Very nice. We have a very swish LDO Voron branded brass ruler. We have some LDO motor stickers. We also have a calendar. More stickers. So I shall pop all those back in the envelope. There's going to be quite a lot of boxes. First off, I will start with some pretty self-explanatory parts. So we have the DIN rails and cable routing for the base of the machine. Plastic aluminium extrusion covers. So these basically snap into the extrusions to give it a nice clean finished look. We have the electronics box, one of two in this box. We have, we have an ethernet port. We have a little silver foil sticky strip. We have a clippy connector, which I assume is for this solid state relay. This is to mount to the DIN rails under the machine. We have some Wago connectors. We have the power import and on and off switch. We have a little heat sink for a Raspberry Pi. We have a 32 gigabyte Sandis SD card. Decent brand. Here, Big Tree Tech. We'll open the box. This is the 4.3 touchscreen display. I'm not going to unpackage it all, but that is what it is. So electronics box, two of two. In here, we have one PCB tool head, one USB PCB adapter, one times stealth burner fan adapter. All in there. I am going to open this because I just want us to confirm if this is the Nighthawk board. Yes, it is. This is basically the LDO's latest tool board. It works via USB over CAN bus. It's supposed to be extremely easy and user-friendly to set up and it eliminates all of those jungle of cables going from your tool head back to your main board. An upgrade for the Revision D kit. We also have some printed parts, which is a surprise. So that is all in that box. So this is for Clicky Probe and nice touch. They even give you the URL for the GitHub to get all of the information regarding assembly, config files, whatever else. We have PCBs. So here we've got an XY end stop PCB, a Z end stop PCB, XH splicing PCBs and two XH splicing PCBs. So in there, PCBs. We have another bag of unlabeled parts, some little plastic clips. We have some ferrules, a wire brush that we will no doubt they cut down and use for the nozzle cleaning function. So that's box two of two. So while we're on the subject of electronics, we might as well do the cable kit. Big bag of power cables. Looking at them, they're all individually wired. This will 
make wiring the machine a whole lot easier. NISC cables. So in there we have some Cobb LED strips, some ribbon cables, some USB cables, some normal power cables. Nice, there's a couple of alert bits in here. I can see chamber thermistor, basically monitor what we have in the, the chamber. The stealth burner, NeoPixel LEDs and whatever else I can see in that bag. We were also being sent, which is included in every kit, the correct end stop cables. So within the kit, in one of these bags, there is a revised end stop cable for the X and Y end stops. I think this has something to do with the change mainboard. However, this is included within your electronics box. So you will have no nasty surprises that you're missing something or something is not correct. Next up, we have the Revo heat core nozzle pack. One times 60 watt Revo heat core. We have a 0.4 high flow nozzle and a 0.6 high flow nozzle or Revo in a nice shade of anodized blue. Cable ties, a very nice bag of tools. The aluminium handles for the machine, a big bag of hardware. 1.2 meters of Teflon tubing, some washers, some machine screws, and some magnets. Meanwhile, power supply. This is rated 24 volt output. I do believe that these are now automatic detecting switching for voltage because there is no external voltage switch on this. This is a meanwhile power supply. Premium power supply, not a cheap rubbish one. Next up, we have motion. And I'm not even gonna to begin to open up this because this is filled with bearings, pulleys, more pulleys, gears, more pulleys, more bearings, shiny aluminium parts. Everything is labeled really, really well. We have a on Voron LDO motors branded thumb screw for the stealth burner tubes of bearings your LDO motors bond gears really really high quality components within this kit we have a UK power lead the Leviathan main board now I have seen this before I will open it just to show you this is an incredibly powerful piece of equipment so basically for those that are aware of Voron they use big tree tech octopus board I think in the previous version this is LDO's own variant of the board. Now with this, you can, I'll pull it out of the, the bag, you can mount your Raspberry Pi directly here. They do provide standoffs and a Raspberry Pi adapter for your header pins to power the board directly from here. So you do not need an independent power supply. They also provide you with the USB to connect this via a USB-C directly to your Pi makes the whole process of wiring all of this up simple and easy. They have some really, really, you know, got some big full length heat sinks here. And even on the back of the, the board, they've put another massive heat sink. There is a ridiculous amount of outputs and pinouts on this board. So it makes for very, very huge scope for expandability and all of that good stuff. And we have seven stepper motor outlets, a ridiculous amount of fans, probes, NeoPixel output, end stops lots and lots and lots of outputs on this board board itself has some really nice silk screening this should do everything and more than you will ever need it to do next up belts chains and fans so we have two gt 9 mil six meters of and we also have a gt 6 mil 6.21 meters very precise belts this bag here the nevermore kit so basically this is all the components in here for your nevermore filter we have rubber feet clothes belts fans so we have ldo motors brushless fans two of those we have the smaller ldo fan and we have another ldo blower and then we have cable chain three different sizes and lengths of that right the important parts now we have the motor kit first off we have the little tabs basically to allow you to label each of your stepper motor cables with the corresponding axes z one e extruder so on so on so on just makes any issues wiring it up a lot lot simpler pancake stepper for your stealth burner all your other motors for your axes all bundled up with all your wiring harnesses now LDO made its name and reputation from its motors. They make exceptionally high quality stepper motors that are used in 3D printers, CNC machines, anything that requires accurate motion, consistent reliability, high quality. Next up, 
we have the stainless steel linear rail kit. I am not going to pull each and every one of these out. I will pull one out to give you an idea. So here, your stainless steel linear rails. They have provided a lot of stops to stop the carriage from flying off the end on all your ball bearings scattering wherever you may be building the machine. They also enclose a couple of slide blocks. So these you will use if you do need to remove, which I recommend that you will do because you'll have to clean the rail. You slide the actual bearing block off the rail onto these little carriages to stop the ball bearings disappearing everywhere. We will, I will show you how this is done when we get to that point. The frame. This box contains, we have the black aluminium angled corners these are for fixing the bed rails i will pull out one extrusion because they are packaged very very nicely and i don't want to scratch or damage so ldo rails they are tapped nicely finished incredibly nicely this is no cheap andizing on this aluminium overall from everything that i've read seen and heard these are cut to perfection tapped perfectly and there's no excess swarf or anything from the cutting or the tapping process these will be the first part of our assembly so we shall box that up that is that for box one of two please bear with me while i try and get everything back into box one of two a few moments later this one there won't be as much in he says or paper so we've got the here big slab of aluminium a 350 mil 230 volt build plate textured smooth again ldo boron here you can see just about on the other side that looks like it's laser etched on the other side very nice the bed be very very careful with the bed i don't want to drop it i mean look how thick that is that is a very beefy bed that is not going to be bent or anything so i don't have little to worry about with that pre-fitted with the the heat pad your thermistor and we also have a thermal fuse already there nice touches panel kit nice bit of foam so in here we have all of our panels i'm not going to open them all up we have black panels we have clear panels they're all covered in protective film they're all sized and labeled individually so i make identifying the correct parts very very easy so in summary that is the content of the ldo 2.4 350 revision d kit quite excited to get building it first impressions as i wouldn't expect anything less from ldo the components that they've used are absolutely second to none the way that the kit's labeled up you've got each main component part boxed within the box you have your baggies every bag is really really clearly labeled with the contents the quantities and everything else that it's going to make building this kit really really simple and easy easy to identify what parts for where yeah overall i'm very impressed by the way that the kit is packed and labeled even to the effort that they've gone to just to provide you with the the github urls because they really didn't have to do that a lot of people who are well established within the voron community swear by no other kit than ldo just for the quality of the parts how consistent everything's cut down to the extrusions and it, the way that everything's labelled out for you. It just makes it really, really intuitive and should be an extremely fun build. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and share. And also check out this machine and other Voron machines that we do carry in stock in the link in the description below. Goodbye for now. As always, we aim to have the most competitive 3D printer prices on the market. If you see any of our printers being sold by a mainstream retailer for less, please drop us an email using the link in the description and we'll do our very best to beat their price. Also, if you're watching from outside the UK, check the description for links to our European 123 3D sister stores.